love friends. All right. Wait for everyone to get here and then we'll get started. Forgot to take my before picture. When you pop on, say hi. I washed my hair this morning and I feel like a wet rat. <laughs> I always try to get all the angles when I take my before pictures. Because I never know how I'm going to like want to take a picture when I'm done. You know? Totally. Hello. How are you guys? Oh my gosh, you guys. I finished watching um, This Is Us last night. Right? Yeah, last night. Oh my gosh. So sad. Did you guys ever watch that show? This Is Us. My lord. So sad. I know it's sad. You guys know what I mean. It's like sad, but it's not sad. Every episode though makes you cry. It's so heart wrenching. If you haven't seen that, there's like eight seasons of it. You definitely need to watch it. Oh, such just a good show. All right, I'm gonna send out my text. Let's... And then I'm going to post the link here in the comments. I know I'm like so late to the game. I used to watch that show when it first came out. And then um, I just like fell off the wagon with it when we, I think we like moved and then I just didn't watch it. And so I was looking for a show and I was like, oh, I never finished watching that. So I started that back up. Um, I'm going to take you guys through my whole skincare routine. I'm like super excited for this. Let me send out this text and then we'll do that. Okay. If you guys aren't signed up to my text subscription, I hope you will. Uh, my phone number for that, I'll give you guys next. After I send this. You love that show. And then also, okay, you want to hear a really funny show we're watching right now? Um, okay. We are watching uh, Righteous Gemstones. Have you ever seen that? I was telling you guys about that show on my Instagram story. If you grew up in the church, you will think it's the funniest show ever. It is definitely very inappropriate. It's very, like, think of Step Brothers humor. It's very similar to, like, Step Brothers, the movie humor of that. But it is so funny if you grew up in the church because it just like, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. Just like this, I don't know. You have to watch it. It's really funny. It's very inappropriate. Definitely not around kids. But if you, <laughs> this one, if you think I'm funny, <laughs> if we have the same sense of humor, then you'll love it. All right. So to text the phone number, it's 866-554-2966. I'll write it in the comments. Um, so text Raya Hope. That's it to that phone number and then you'll be opted in and I send out like when I'm going live um, and then I'll also send you guys out when I um, have like new products um, that launch or restock like when we're relaunching the um, the uh, pressed powder and eyelet. I'll tell you guys when that comes back when the new BB cream gets restocked. I'll tell you immediately uh, when the new skincare launches, you'll be the first to know. Okay, so super excited. So if you missed yesterday's tutorial, I let you guys know that, oh, that show is called Righteous Gemstones. It is so funny. Season three just came out. That's why it made me like want to tell you guys about it. Righteous Gemstones is the name of it. All right, I'm going to start off my whole makeup. So I got out of the shower. I'm now dressed. I washed my face in the shower. I got out and just spritzed with some rose water because my skin was feeling really dry. Remember yesterday when I was telling you guys when I got my eyebrows waxed, it hurt me so bad. Look, look at that. I knew she tore off skin. <laughs> it's like, it feels like a, like a scab. Isn't that crazy? My poor eyebrow. But she did do like such a killer job of my brows though. <laughs> It's hard to get mad. Okay, uh, so when I got out of the shower, I did rose water. That's all I have on my face right now. Okay, now I'm going in with this. This is called the Super Toner 
super skin toner. Um, this is by a company called Dime. So yesterday I sh told you guys how I'm now a Dime affiliate. So I'm super pumped because Unique, I love our skincare line. We're just kind of missing some products in our line. And I have acne prone skin since I turned 30. I don't know why the heck that happened, but I get hormonal acne. So I've been kind of trying out a lot of skincare products in combination with ours um cuz ours unique skincare is the best for anti-aging and mature skin. It's also the best for dry skin. But if you have acne prone skin, we kind of have a lot of like um gaps in our skincare line. I hope that changes in the near future, but to be honest, I know it's not going to change in the next year. Like cuz I you know your girl knows that what's up. Um, so I've been trying out different products in different companies and I've tried a lot. I've spent so much money trying out different products. Um, so I found one I really love and I reached out to them. I was like, Hey, before I share this, like, do you have like a discount code I can share or anything? And they were like, absolutely. So they gave me a link and a code. So if you already love dime message me, I'll give you my dime link and my dime code, which is Raya Hope to save on their website. So right now I went in with this. So this is witch hazel. Does anyone get triggered by that smell? It just reminds me of giving birth. <laughs> but this is amazing for helping to put in hydration into your skin. So it gives you a healthier pH balance. It energizes your skin. So it like wakes your skin up. And it's, let's see, it has so many amazing ingredients in it. And I love it because most of them are like, I can read them. Witch hazel, aloe, sage, cucumber. They're not like these long words that are this long that are impossible to pronounce. So I love it. And then um, I will say, you guys, I should have filmed Ryan. I finished my makeup yesterday. I left my skincare on. I went in and did my makeup right away. Um, and I came out of my office and Ryan was like, what'd you do different? Are you using a new foundation? And I was like, no, why? And he was like, your skin looks like perfect, like soft. And for a husband to notice, and like I do this for a living, Ryan is very much used to seeing me with makeup. So the fact that he was like, something's different and it's a good different. I was like, holy crap, the only thing I did different was uh, the Dime skincare products beforehand. So, I don't know. I'm impressed. And my makeup stayed perfectly all day long. Very impressed. So, we're going to start off our new routine. New routine, new me, with the Super Skin Toner. I don't know why I keep saving the box, but um, it also helps to absorb damage otherwise impacted by oxidizing agents and free radicals. So that's kind of cool. Rejuvenates and moisturizes the skin, nourishes, and maintains a healthy pH balance. So that's what this does. It's a toner. So you're going to do this morning and night. So I'm going to start off with that. And then I'm going to go in with this. So this is the acne, acne toning serum. And I got a huge response from you guys, um, from those who use this. So I don't know if I want to put it on my face or my hand. Let's do a hand. Um, and I learned the hard way yesterday. It said a dime amount to use on your skin. Heck to the no. That was way too much. I'm only going to use that much. This is called the Acne Toning Serum. So I got a huge response from you guys yesterday. Those who struggle with acne and um, even hormonal acne. And you guys said that you use these products too. And they said amazing things about this one. The Acne Toning Serum is what you guys were like, oh my gosh, yes, you're going to be so impressed with it. So I'm so excited to like see really good results. I'm not having any like active acne breakouts right now, but I always get like little hormonal areas right there. So definitely taking my before and after pictures. We're going to give it the old college try. So next I'm going to start off with that, the Acne Toning Serum. So this is, you use it AM and PM. It's a fast acting toning serum that helps to fight against and prevent breakouts. Uh, it has amazing ingredients, magnolia bark, cleanses and refines pores, reduces the likeliness of future breakouts, all while toning your skin. Kind of cool. So that's the acne toning serum. So we're going to use that next. Something that's really important when you're doing your skincare though, like for the future for you guys is to allow time between each product, whether that just be a few minutes or whether that be a few seconds at least, to allow those products to saturate into your skin. If you're throwing on everything all at once, nothing has time to absorb and everything's going to mix together and it's just not going to do well. Just like when you're baking, how they tell you to like, 
you're supposed to like add certain things at, in a certain order. That's kind of how it is with like your skincare. Um, something else you're supposed to go thinnest to thickest consistency. So obviously your SPF is pretty dang thick, so that goes last. Um, so you're going to do like all your serum, your toners, then your serums, then your moisturizers, then your makeup. Does that make sense? All right, next product we're going to use. And I was actually just literally watching like right before I pressed go. I think it's because my shirt, I was actually going to send it to my eyes look really green today. Um, I was actually just watching a, I don't know what you want to call it, like a tutorial or like a Q and A or something with this woman um, and she was doing her skincare before her makeup. It, I think it was like a TikTok or whatever. And she was saying that this product makes your makeup look better because it plumps your skin and adds um, hydration. So this is a hyaluronic acid serum. Unique does not have anything like this that's alone in sodium hyaluronic, or sorry, this is different than sodium hyaluronic. This is a hyaluronic acid serum. So this plumps your skin and adds moisture so maybe this is what the product was that made my makeup look so different yesterday. So it's kind of, this is the product that I put on and I was like, ooh, my hands like feel sticky. Um, so it's like a thicker, like textured, jelly-like serum. And I'm not gonna lie, when I first put this on my skin, I was like, ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this under my makeup, but I allowed it a few minutes. And then it was perfect and my skin looked so good. So this is really a good product for everybody to use no matter what type of skin you have um, because of the ingredients in it. So it, what it says is it replenishes, um, it captures the, da, 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 that's all like hubbub. So it's concentrated hyaluronic acid. It quenches thirsty skin upon application, boosting balance and delivering intense hydration where it's needed most. So it's basically like hydration on crack. <laughs> so if you have really dry skin or mature skin, this is it. So another thing that I learned from an esthetician is most acne is actually, actually caused by dryness in your skin. So like those, like whenever I went in to get a facial, I'd always tell them I was super oily. And they'd be like, you are oily in some areas, but you're actually really dry in some areas. So I think this is really going to help with my acne too. So I'm excited. How long should these products last? Glenn, your, your guess is as good as mine. I just got them. Um, obviously, I still have them in the box. So this is only, truthfully, my second time using them. So someone was like, your skin looks so good. Thank you. It's not thanks to Dime yet. Uh, I have been using our Unique Glow Plexion, which is our new skincare line that launches next month. I've been using that since um, convention, and I think that has a lot to do with it. In fact, like this is probably the clearest my skin has been. So... I, I think it's too early to like toot my own horn for the um the new skincare line, but I'm so far really impressed. If you missed it, Unique is launching a new skincare line in addition to our current one. It's called Glowplexion, and it's geared towards mature skin, and it's geared towards dry skin, and it's supposed to be finally an ingredient-filled product that digs out the junk in your pores so it's going to be like a very it's like a pore vacuum is how they describe this new skincare line so i think the combination of the new skincare line plus these dime products i'm really excited to see the results that i get with my skin all right right now i'm putting on my eye cream so important especially if you struggle with your under eyes looking crepey or creasy or you put on your concealer and you're like cool now i look dry there eye cream. So this is Unique's eye cream. This is phenomenal. It has caffeine infused in it. It has so many amazing peptides in it as well. And it's very firming for your under eyes. It like, you almost feel like a tightening lift when you put it on. So it's really cool. So that's my pre-makeup skincare routine for now. And then I'm going to add uh, this SPF because I'm going to do my serum plus foundation. I don't think I'm going to use this when I use my BB cream because the BB cream already has a 30 SPF in it. So I think I'm just going to use this when I go in with my serum foundation, which have you guys tried this yet? Comment below what your thoughts are on our serum foundation. All right. So we're just allowing a few minutes for all of those serums and creams and stuff to absorb. And then we're going to get started on the rest. After I get off live, I'm going to um, dry my hair. And I think I'm going to curl my hair with you guys today. And they last depending on if you use them once or twice a day. I mostly use them once a day. And they last me two months. Okay. It's kind of fast. Two months. 
I feel like most of my skincare from Unique lasts me around like four to five months, maybe even longer. But I started, this is actually a really good thing that I used them live for the first time yesterday. <clears throat> so now I can like, when I run out, I'll go back to that live and look at the date. So uh, I will say though, I was very impressed with how inexpensive the Dime products were. And you get 20% discount when you use code Raya Hope. So that was kind of cool. It is a huge cup, but it's like so narrow. I need all the caffeine. I use Unique also, but yes, they do last me longer. Okay. Unique lasts you longer. Good to know. Okay, but I will definitely be on the lookout for that, like how long it lasts. All right, so that's enough time for that to really saturate in with my eye cream. You can literally feel it like tighten and tone up. All right, now I'm going to go in with my SPF. I don't know if I'm supposed to shake it, but I'm old habit, I guess. All right, so this was, again, a product that I used yesterday that I was like, ooh, I think I used too much. Trial and error, guys. I do like that it's tinted. So this is by Dime. This is a 30 SPF, and it is a tinted sunscreen. Um, it's geared and made for people who wear makeup, and it's geared and for people who have oily skin. So that's what, like, made me reach for it because I truthfully – hate moisturizer under my makeup. I hate that feeling when it feels like, uh, like slick. When you put foundation on, it grosses me out. It's like a heebie-jeebie. You know what I mean? <laughs> my products last a long time. Yeah. Oh yeah. You love Quadra. Good. Like it's tinted. Like, look, it comes off in your napkin. Um, okay. So this was the wah, 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 wonder screen tinted, uh, SPF 30. And this is just an SPF 30. And what I like too, the reason that I also grabbed this is because I learned a lot when we launched our BB cream. Um, never use a chemical sunscreen. Always only ever use a mineral sunscreen. This is mineral. So the difference between the two, and this is our BB cream too, is a mineral. So a chemical sunscreen is made like in the lab, it's like a fake sunscreen and your body has to digest it for like it seeps into your skin for it to work. And that's why a lot of the times you're allergic to it because it literally goes into your bloodstream versus a mineral sunscreen creates a barrier between your face and the sun. Obviously, I'm sure your skin absorbs some of it, but it's minerals. So it's like made from the earth. So it's much healthier for your skin. It's much healthier for your body. And if you're typically allergic to sunscreen, you're less likely to be allergic to a mineral sunscreen. Fun fact of the day. Yes, I will absolutely send you whatever you need, Carol. So just let me know what you need. Awesome, Melissa, I will get back to you as soon as I'm off here. Can you send me a list of the dime products you're using so I know which ones to get? Absolutely. I will leave you the link in the comments. Um, so we're done with that part of our routine. Um, so now I'm going to do this part. So this is not from Dime, and I've been addicted to how this makes my skin look. So we're going to go in with these drops. Go ahead and say drops. I'll give you the link to them. Uh, but these I've been loving. So this is a... Like a, it makes your skin darker, but it also has amazing ingredients. So it helps, um, helps acne scarring and it helps, uh, sunspots has this ingredient, ninacetamide. I can never say that word and they're aluminizers. So they make your skin look really glowy. They're really pretty. But what I liked about them too, is they make your skin look like you just got a, uh, a, uh, spray tan. See? Isn't that pretty? Ooh, girl, who are you? So good. You just put it on like that. I use both. You don't necessarily have to use both. So one's like an illuminizer. It makes your skin look glowy. And then one is a tint. So it makes your skin look like you just got a spray tan. But look how like healthy and glowy my skin looks right now. And this is like all before makeup. Like how cool. Yeah, if you have sunspots, definitely grab... The toner I used today, definitely get the unique eye cream and then definitely get these drops. So yes, yeah, say drops. I'll give you the link to both of these. They weren't that expensive and I think they'll last a long time. But so that is my new pre-makeup skincare. And now we're going to do our skin or pre-makeup routine. We're going to get started. Obviously, like 
I'm sitting here live with you guys doing all of this, but this is something that I would typically do like in the morning. So I know some of you might be watching and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so many steps to do before my makeup. So typically I wouldn't be like sitting here doing all this at once. I would wake up in the morning. I would br brush my teeth. I would do my toner, spritz with my rose water. I don't know, get the kids ready for school, do my acne toning serum, brush my hair, make my bed, do my hyaluronic acid brush the kids' teeth, do the kids' hair, throw on my sunscreen, don't go downstairs, or sorry, do my eye cream, do my sunscreen, take the kids to school, come home, do my drops. You know what I mean? So it kind of fits into your morning. So whatever your morning may look like, you can fit this in. Just going to take a day or two to like figure out your new routine, you know? I don't have a code for the drops, but I do have a link to them. Why cream did I use? Uh, this is from Unique. I'll give you the link. One sec. I'm texting my assistant to make sure she's, oh, there she is, yay. Okay, I'm. Sav is on it. She's gonna give you guys the links uh, to all of that. So I'm gonna now do my pre-makeup routine. So typically, Typically, if I wasn't live, I would give maybe a few more minutes to let this all saturate in. Like I would be blow drying my hair <laughs> or I would be like putting on my shoes or doing the rest of my jewelry or whatever. But for time's sake, we're going to go in now with our um, prime to set mist. Now, especially when you're doing a heavy skincare routine like this, your pre makeup routine is going to be very crucially important. And the reasoning is, is so this right here is a primer infused setting spray. So this is going to set our makeup or sorry, it's, it does. It's going to set our makeup. Yes, but it's going to set our skincare. It's going to set our face before we go in with any primer, any, anything. So all of this is going to have like a cap to it. So we're going to start off with this, which again has primer in it. So it's like double primer. If you use the drops, do they darken with more use like tanning drops? I think so. Yes. You love it? You just got it? Nice. Yeah, I'm super excited to see how this like all, I don't know, turns out over the next couple weeks for my skin. All right, so once that's dry, now we're going to go in with our primer. So this primer is hands down my most favorite primer in the whole world. This is the Mattifying Face Primer. So yes, it's a mattifying primer, but no, it does not dry out your skin. So if you have dry skin, it's still hydrating. It's still amazing, especially if you're using the, um, what's this one called again? The Hyaluronic Acid Serum that we used. So as you see, I kind of go pretty, not heavy, but like very plentiful. And you're going to put this everywhere. You're going to do it under your eyes, over your eyes, work this into your forehead, just like this. Get it in all those creases, everything. No, they don't darken over time. Sorry, did I misunderstand your message? No, they're not tanning drops. They're just like, they are, but they're not. <laughs> all right, so you saw I kind of pulled it down my neck. And now this is the part that you really want to make sure that you allow enough time for your makeup to sit and like saturate in. Not your makeup, sorry, your primer. Um, because you want to allow enough time for your primer to like get into your fine lines, get into your pores before it goes in with your makeup. So like you don't want your primer and your foundation to mix together. You want it to sit on top of. And I always refer to like painting a wall. So when you're painting a wall, you prime the wall first and then you paint. So it goes kind of that's why you do it. So the mist goes on before the makeup primer. Yes. So you're going to do mist, primer, mist. Okay. Like now we're going to do our mist again. Okay. Mist, primer, mist. And then when you're done with your makeup, you're going to do your mist again. This is my most used product of any product I use. <laughs> I use this, what is that? Three times every time, four times actually, because I spray my setting, uh, little blending bed with it. I was going to show you guys this, my outfit too. I have this really cute little bodysuit from Amazon. This one's so fun. And then I found this kimono at like some random boutique, but I'll try to find it on Amazon. And then I have on these like really cute loose fitted shorts. It's still so hot here. And I think I'm going to do like some lace up sandals. And then I got this necklace from Forever 21. I'll try to find the link to it. 
And then I just have like little tiny hoops. And there we are. Definitely need to blow dry my hair, curl it a little bit, and we'll be way more put together. But I will be posting a try on after this on my Instagram. Uh, make sure you watch over there. I'm having troubles with my Instagram actually. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't know why, but I like people aren't seeing my stories. So if you could do me a huge favor today, if you can go over to my Instagram, not Facebook, Instagram. And my name there is Rhea Hope. And then click on my profile picture. And then uh, you can watch the stories there. So if you could do that for me, it would mean a lot. I don't know what's going on. I heard that they're updating like another app of theirs. So maybe that's why. Someone had asked about the hurricane. No, definitely not worried about the hurricane. I heard it's only like a, what is it called? A category one. <laughs> to be honest, we like San Diego doesn't really ever get weather. So maybe I'm, um, what's that called? Naive to be not worried. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I asked Ryan, I was like, you know, there's a hurricane coming to San Diego. And he was like, oh, yeah, we need water. And I was like, oh, do we need to stock up on water? He's like, no, like the plants outside need water. I'm glad it's going to rain. <laughs> I was like, if that doesn't describe San Diegans, I don't know what does. <laughs> like we have a hurricane and we're like, oh, cool, it's going to rain. <laughs> I love in San Diego. I don't know if the category four is going to hit San Diego, though. I heard it's only category one going to hit us. I don't know, though. Like I said, I am so out of the loop. I, we do not watch the news in this house. So my news comes from you guys. <laughs> in fact, I didn't even know there was a hurricane coming till yesterday when you guys told me on my Facebook Live. And then I texted my girlfriend who's from Florida and I was like, should I be worried? And she was like, we'll be fine. I'm like, okay. I got my lips done like three months ago. Plans this weekend. We are supposed to go to a birthday party on Saturday and I'm so bummed because it was a themed birthday party. It was, don't judge me. It was an adults only <clears throat> themed birthday party for my friend's grandpa who's turning 69. And we're all friends like with him and he's like the greatest grandfather ever. And we're gonna have a pimps and hoes <laughs> birth surprise birthday party. <laughs> Ryan and I had the best costumes. I'm so bummed it got canceled because he can't like, uh, it just didn't work out, but th that's what we were supposed to do Saturday. So now I think we're going to go on a date. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what we're going to do. We got a sitter. So I'm like, I'm not canceling the sitter. We're going out, but I haven't made reservations or anything. We might do an escape room. Have you ever done an escape room? I don't know. It sounds, sounded fun. So we might do an escape room on Saturday. Um, Abel has a birthday party tonight. So we're going to drop him off at that poor, his poor little friend, his poor little friend. Uh, we were at the river last weekend. We weren't with them when it happened. Um, but his sweet little buddy broke his leg wakeboarding poor guy. So he was supposed to have his birthday party last weekend, but he broke his leg. Um, and so, and they were supposed to do paintballing or something. And so they had to switch it up. So I texted his mom and I was like, you should do a video game truck because he can sit there and because he has like a cast up to his hip. He's eight, poor guy. He turned eight um, the other day. So Abel is going to go to his house with all their little friends and play video games in his truck. Poor guy. Uh, so Abel's going to do that. We have this like gym by our house and they have this thing called Flip for Fridays. So cute. And um, it's basically like a gymnastics gym where you pay like $10 and they watch your kids from like six to 10 and they just like run around do gymnastics and I don't know what the heck they do in there. But, um, so Rice might do that tonight. So we might have like two like mini date nights. I don't know what we're going to do. I know I've never done an escape room either. Hopefully I don't get like claustrophobic. Ooh, a fallish look. I might because I haven't had, I have zero plans. I'm from San Diego, but live in the, uh, NPW, but from, oh, nice. Awesome. Hi, Tina. Thanks for being here. I know, right? Wouldn't that have been so fun? I don't think they bend your hair. They're supposed to like not. They're supposed to be like a creaseless clip. I just got them. Love the links. Yes, I will. I'll, I'll link my outfit over on my um, like to know it. 
Yeah, Florida hurricanes are no joke. I know, that's why I text her. I know you guys get a lot of those hurricanes. I don't know if we've ever had a hurricane here. <laughs> I also live like 45 minutes away from the beach. So I don't, I think the hurricane's coming up that way. So I think we're just going to get rain. But watch my Instagram stories. I will definitely keep you posted. All right, ready for makeup now? We did our primer. We did our setting spray. We did our uh, setting spray again. We did all our skincare. Now we're going to go in with our Serum Plus Foundation. This is hands down my favorite. I am so excited how all of these products are going to really mesh together because with the hyaluronic acid and then this foundation has sodium hyaluronate in it. So two separate different products, but they do kind of similar things to it, to your skin. They plump your skin. And not only do they plump your skin, but they hydrate your skin. So if you have uh, fine lines, wrinkles, or are looking for an anti-aging foundation, this foundation is it. It is so good. And it's also um, a 12-hour transfer-proof, smudge-proof hold. So if you put this on, it's not going to go literally anywhere for 12 hours plus. Like I've worn this foundation for over 12 hours, and it looked beautiful all day long. I say green eye or a gold eye. Okay. Can you link the clips? Uh, yes. Yeah, Sav, will you find clips or links for those? I think I got them. I don't know where I got them. <laughs> uh, even in Las Vegas, is getting the rain and flooding from the hurricane. Oof. Scary. Yeah, I noticed that it, uh, it was only supposed to rain on Sunday and Monday. Now it's supposed to rain tomorrow and Sunday and Monday. I was supposed to go to a bridal shower on Sunday at my sister's house. It's her friends getting married and it was supposed to be outside. Now it's going to be inside. <laughs> so it will be a pretty busy weekend, but I don't know. It's like fun, busy, you know? So this foundation is called the Serum Plus foundation. I'm using it in the shade Islet. I went in with more drops. I have no idea why. I typically only do one uh, drop per side. Maybe because I'm chit-chatting. I'm just like doing whatever. Is it better to press on or swipe motion for foundation? So with this foundation, it's better to tap, like press it in. Because if you think about it, like we have textured skin. So if you're just like swiping, you're just kind of shifting your foundation all over. But if you're pressing in your foundation, your foundation is going to look much smoother on your skin, especially if you have fine lines, creases, or pores. So press, 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 just like so. And then this is the Kabuki brush. Both of the, the both the blah, 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 both the things uh, that I'm using, the Serum Plus Foundation and this brush are on my website. Go and say color match if you need help picking out what color you are in the foundation. Um, I think I do. I don't really use it though. <laughs> okay, so that was the Serum Plus and then now we're gonna go in with our concealer. Uh, I missed the foundation. Yes, the Serum Plus Foundation. Absolutely. So you're definitely going to do the Kabuki brush. That will really help. And then um, definitely if you are wanting like an anti-aging foundation, you get that foundation. It is hands down the best. will last you a very long time. And the coverage on it is phenomenal. Not only does the coverage look really good, like full coverage, you either can wear a light coverage by using less of it or like I did today, use it as a full coverage by just adding more. It is water resistant. Yes. Yes. I use it in the shade Eyelet for my foundation. I'm a dental hygienist and I wear a mask most of the day. How do I keep it from transferring on my mask? I have found the powder transfers. So for the Serum Plus, it will will not transfer, but powder will always transfer, like always. Even if you're wearing the most transfer-proof anything, if you are wearing something that close to your face, it will transfer. However, the Serum Plus Foundation, if you're setting it with like a setting powder and a pressed powder, won't come off. Like you won't see your skin after the transfer. You know what I mean? So like even when it was, you know, the height of mask wearing, um, I was wearing the Serum Plus and then I would set it with a setting powder and a pressed powder. It might come off on my mask a little bit, but it never came off my face. Does that make sense? Concealer is the shade Lace. So I only did one side so I can show you the difference on how important concealer is. Like 
this coverage is phenomenal, but look at the under eyes. Is that not so crazy? This concealer is so good. It has caffeine, has peptides in it, just like our eye cream, has similar ingredients. So for me, I always do a little line here and then a little line upwards. Now, if you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles on your face, just kind of dot, 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 dot. Less is more with the concealer and then use a damp blending bud or a damp beauty blender and just bounce this down and then I'll move up like this and then down and then on my eyelid. And I use it on my eyelid, one, because I have darker eyelids, and two, it has those really amazing healing ingredients. So if you have darker eyelids, it's going to help to heal and brighten those back up. And then we're going to go up and over my nose because it has caffeine infused in it, so it's going to help to tighten and tone wherever we use it. So if you have large pores, it's going to help to tighten up those large pores so it's less noticeable. Or if you have redness on your nose, my mom gets a lot of redness, then we can go up and over to help to hide that as well. Um, I have not gotten a hydrofacial in like a, maybe like a month and a half. I'm due for one for sure. I love getting them. They feel so good. Which foundation colors have more of a beige tone than a yellow tone? Eyelet is more of a beige. Message me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a recommendation on what color you are. Because most of the time we're not just one color. So for example, for my foundation, I used eyelet, but for my concealer, I was lace. And then for my pressed powder, I'm going to use taffeta. So I use three different colors to achieve my natural skin tone. So most people are the same exact way. So you're going to need multiple colors to equal out to your skin tone. That's totally normal. I feel like it's a very rare thing when you're all three colors <laughs> or you're all three the same color. Oh, nice. I'm so jealous. I wish I did. I didn't know they were going to discontinue them. So bummed. I have found a couple that I kind of like, but nothing to like write home about. All right, I'm using a setting powder now. I have naturally oily skin, so I use a setting powder. So what this does is it draws out the natural oils in your skin. If you have dry skin or mature skin, you do not want to do this step. You'll skip this step and go straight into the next one. Um, but for me, I love it because I have oily skin. Or if you ever find that like your makeup smudges or smears or like melts throughout the day with like how sweaty you are or how hot it is where you live, um, you can use a setting powder. What is a good pressed powder shade to go with the Organza foundation? So when I wore Organza, I wore the shade Velour in the powder. And the two colors kind of cancel out because the shade Organza is much, has like a pinker undertone. And then Velour has a little bit of a yellow undertone. So together they like canceled one another out. So it was like a perfect like beige. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's all about like playing around with like the colors. Now I'm going in with the pressed powder. So like I was telling you guys about the um, like color canceling, this is the shade Taffeta. So this is going to be more of like a yellow toned pressed powder, but with over the products that I've used, it's going to equal out to my skin tone perfectly. And then this pressed powder, if you have dry skin and you're like, oh, I can't use pressed powder. I have dry skin or I have mature skin or I have fine lines and wrinkles. You can use this pressed powder if you're doing it with a big giant brush like this, say powder brush. I'll give you the link to the one I'm using. Um, but this is going to not only even out your complexion and make your skin look much better, but it's also going to add a little bit extra coverage. It looks so good. So this has shea butter, vitamin E. It is phenomenal, super hydrating. Let me make sure I didn't miss any comments. Oh yeah, I'm glad you're here. Perfect, lace and taffeta, exactly. Um, I'm lace in the foundation. I'm lace in the foundation, so what shade would I be in the pressed powder? Probably taffeta, Linda. I never get to watch you live. I'm working from home. Yay, awesome. I'll try not to distract you too much, Tracy. <laughs> all right, so now that we've done all of our coverage, like look how porcelain doll our skin looks. Like so buttery soft, so, so good. So now we're gonna add a little bit of contour. So we're gonna go in with our bronzer and we're gonna pop this on our cheekbones. So I used to do more of the hollow of my cheek, but I found applying it a little higher up really elevates and like thins out your face, but also gives you like a little facelift. So wherever you, your hollow is, apply it like a little above that. So more like on your actual cheekbone. I used to get too scared of getting too close to my eye. 
um, with doing any of these products, but I found that, have no fear, you can always lighten with pressed powder, but this helps your makeup match so much better and just gives your skin like a really pretty bronzed look. I was going to get ready, but caught you live. Nice, hi, thanks for being here. If you guys could do me a huge favor, if you know anyone who would enjoy one of these tutorials or think that they're entertaining or maybe find them helpful, go ahead and tag them in the comments. You'll just do that little at symbol and then write their name and you'll see their Facebook and you can click on it. Um, or click that bottom left hand corner, there's a share button. And then you can either share this on your friends' walls or like on their Facebooks, or you can share it on your own. And that way people can see it that way too. So if you guys could do that for me, I would be super appreciative. Like I said, Facebook and Instagram are being super mean to me lately and not showing my my pages. So if you can do that by sharing, that would be super helpful. And then also if you could go to my Instagram when we're done here and type in my name, Rhea Hope on Instagram, and then click on the profile picture um, to watch the stories, that would be helpful. Oh, thanks Tracy, thanks for the stars. All right, now I'm doing my blush. So we're gonna go in with the shade Sisterly and pop this on the apple of our cheek, working up to our hairline. Oh my gosh, is this not the prettiest blush color? So it's the shade Sisterly. It's a mix between like a highlighty blush color, uh, a mix between a highlight and a blush is what I was trying to say. And it just illuminates your face so well. So if you ever feel like you look washed out, you probably do. So add a little blush and it brings that color back to our face. Now we're going to go in with our highlight in the shade Golden. This is my jam, you guys. It looks so pretty on. It makes your skin look so glowy, so healthy. Oh, it's so pretty. And then go ahead and pop that on your upper lip. That, oof. Hello. Hello. So good. Okay. You guys wanted to see. I didn't get out anything. <laughs> Bad influencer. I don't have anything out and ready for you. You guys want to see a bronzy, folly eye, right? I'm feeling that too. I like where you're going with this, but let's do our lips first. I'm going to do, I have this idea after watching my girlfriend. Hold on. I need to find my lip liner. These lip liners are so freaking good, you guys. Especially after trying to find other lip liners I like cannot find one that I truly like and I it's just like a reminder of how good our lip liners are so we're going to go with the lip liner patience and liner let's at this did you guys watch yesterday's tutorial who did comment if you did because I discovered not discovered i did my favorite lip look ever okay we're going in lip liner in patience and we're gonna do this kind of on the thicker side for our liner yay i'm so glad i could inspire you Okay, lip liner and patience is on. Now we're gonna go in with the lipstick in the shade Minted. Yep. All right, and this color is like a pastel nude. It's really pretty. And it's super creamy. All right, pastel nude is on, minted. That's super pretty. And then I'm gonna go in with this lip gloss that is in this pocket palette. If you guys haven't seen these pocket palettes, they're so rad. So you get a highlight, you get an eyeshadow, you get a blush, and you get a lip gloss all-in-one little palette. These are on my website. You definitely need to check them out. And then there is the Total Package Brush, which this is actually 30% off right now. Um, and this has four brushes in it, but we're gonna grab the lip brush from here. 
and we're gonna put this on. So this lip gloss is like a bronzy gold. It's so pretty. But this is what I had idea. I was like, I wonder what this will look like. But these, uh, this lip gloss right here is kind of like a metallic. So it reflects the light like yesterday's. Oof, so pretty, oh my gosh. Oh, I love it, so good. Okay, so we used the lip uh, brush from the Total Package brush and we did the Pocket Palette lip gloss. So pretty, my lord. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use, let's do this. All right, I think I know what I wanna do. I'm gonna do, where are you? Is this you? Yes. Okay, we're gonna do a bronzy eye. But first we're gonna use the pocket palette and I'm gonna use this color right here, which is the, uh, yes, the eyeshadow in this pocket palette. So if you don't wear a ton of makeup, like if you're watching this live right now and you're like, good Lord, Rhea. <laughs> So much makeup. Um, like my mother-in-law, very natural. Uh, she doesn't do like a ton of makeup. Don't let me forget to do my eyebrows. I'm getting them out. Cause I just looked at myself I'm like, why do I look so odd? Cause I have no eyebrows. Um, okay, but what I was getting at is my mother-in-law doesn't wear a ton of makeup. She is more of a natural. She's very outdoorsy. She loves to hike and like do all the outdoorsy things. Like on Mother's Day, she likes to hike. Like, I'll meet you at the bar afterwards. I'm just kidding. <laughs> not kidding. But, um, so she is not really into makeup, but she is going to a wedding. They're going on vacation. And so she was like, I need your help. I need makeup. Like, I've never, I, we've been married for 10 years. And I think I've helped her with her makeup twice in all 10 years. And usually it's for a wedding. So I was like, yes, I'd love to. So if you want my mother-in-law's shopping cart, say... Say, what should you say? Because I, I need to know what you're talking about. So say uh, mother-in-law's cart, then I'll know. Uh, but what I'm getting at is this was one product I included for her because she's not gonna want like a bunch of eyeshadow. She's not gonna want a bunch of products. She'll probably put the lip gloss on with her finger. She's gonna do her eyeshadow probably with her finger, but I did get her this brush. Uh, and then she's going to do the highlight and the blush. Like it has so many options in this tiny little palette for her that are so easy to use and aren't really bold and crazy colors. So everything is very usable for her. So this palette was one of those that I got her because this is the eyeshadow, but she can also use it for contour if she wanted, which I doubt she would, uh, because she probably doesn't contour, but I taught her how to use the blush so we use blush and then the highlight so everything is very subtle and soft so if you want her subtle and soft makeup look just say mother-in-law's cart and I'll give you the link to everything I used for her maybe I'll try to get I don't know if I can get her over here <laughs> to sit in front of you guys she'd probably be so shy but um I'll try to maybe I'll do her makeup look on myself probably be the least amount of makeup I've ever put on but when you don't wear makeup like she does, it looked so pretty. I like showed her how to do it and she walked out and my father-in-law and my husband were like, wow. All right, I'm looking for my liner shader brush. Here you are. I love these four in one palettes. They're such a good deal. I'm using my liner shader brush and just underlining the bottom lash line with this. Just like a very soft, smoky, light brown under here. So everything for your eyes is on sale this month. So all eyeshadows, all eyeshadow brushes, all mascaras, all eyeliners, all of that is all on sale, up to 20% off. In fact, you can get like a full eye look for less than $100. Not a full eye look. You can get a full eye look and lip look and you can do like your cheeks and everything for like less than a hundred. I bought one of those pots, forgot about today. Oh, you need to break it out, girlfriend. All right, so there we have that brown on, which is super pretty. Now we're gonna go in with the liquid eyeshadow. 
Another really great product for you if you're not really into makeup or maybe you just want something that's super simple to do. This liquid eyeshadow is the shade Ornate. It is a gorgeous bronzy brown. It is so simple to use. You just put it on like you'd put on lip gloss, honestly, but on your eyeball. And then I'm just taking my cream shadow brush and kind of like smoothing out these edges. Just like that. And see how it like very subtly looks like it was smoked out? Super simple, you could do this. So liquid eyeshadow in the shade Ornate and we're just gonna pop this on the eyelid. Okay, and then cream shadow brush. All the eyeshadow brushes are on sale, all of them. which usually they don't include our brushes in the sales. So make sure you stock up on some essentials, which I would say this one's an essential. The fluffy crease brush is absolutely an essential. My poor little scab. I was like, why does it look darker right there? Oh. And then the liner shader brush is definitely an essential too. Okay. And that's so pretty and very soft, very subtle. And then you can always like sweep away any excess that fell. And then you can always go with your blending bud too and like bounce this off underneath. This will pick up any eyeshadow that may have gotten away from you. Easy peasy. I have the first eight liquid shadows. Oh, nice. Um, I don't know how many liquid eyeshadows there are in total. I'm sure there are some new ones since if you haven't grabbed them recently. All right, let's do our brow so I can stop being like, what is wrong with your face? What? <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna comb them out. Ooh, this is what I wanted to do. We're gonna try this today. Hopefully this isn't a mistake. We're gonna do a clear brow gel first. And we're gonna comb up and place our brows first. Again, I've never done it this way, so we'll see. Say brow gel and I'll give you the link to the one I'm using. Okay. Brow gel is nice because you can really like position your hair where you want it. Um, if you do want a brow gel that will help your brows grow while you're wearing it, I would get the, um, I would get the Esteem Lash Serum, drying my brow gel. I would get the Esteem Lash Serum and I would use that as your brow gel because it would not only dry and keep your brows in place, but it will also, um, help your brow hair to grow. So if you want the brow gel growth, say brow gel growth, and I'll give you a link to that one. But if you don't want growth for your eyebrows, just say brow gel. Like for me, my brows are like, they grow so fast. So I don't really need like a brow growth gel for me. So just the clear works. All right, I don't know if I should do this yet. Um, we're gonna set our makeup and do our lashes then. Such an important step especially when we're doing all that skincare beforehand. So what this is gonna do is this is going to um, add moisture into our foundation, help it to expand, look so much softer and natural. And it's also obviously gonna help, help to hold everything in a place. It's like, think of it like hairspray for your makeup. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and set our skin before we do any mascara, because if you do this after your mascara, you're just like begging your mascara to smudge and smear because you're putting moisture on your wet mascara. Does that make sense? So doing it beforehand is gonna be super important. All right, now let's go ahead and do our brows. We're gonna do the brow precision pencil. It's hands down my favorite brow product because of how dainty it is. And I'll report back if I like doing the brow gel first. So far, I don't think I like it. <laughs> I mean, I like the brow gel. I just don't know if I like doing the brow gel first. It's kind of making my job harder right now. But as I always say with makeup, try it once. 
Yeah, steal my brows, wrap me out. I forgot earlier. I was like looking at myself and I was like, what looks so off? Isn't it funny how doing one tiny step really makes a huge difference? But filling in your eyebrows is definitely one of those like must do steps because it really frames your face and gives your eyes like a little mini eye lift. Yeah, so if you have the Esteem Lash Serum, you could use it as brow gel because it hardens. That's why I always tell you guys not to use the Esteem Lash Serum on your lashes during the day, unless you're not wearing makeup that day because it will make your lashes harder or like hard, it like dries. Okay, what are your guys' thoughts? Do you, I don't really love the brow for, or brow gel first. I feel like my brows look shiny now. Brows frame your face for sure. I used to never do them, but I have to now. Exactly. Once you start, I promise you won't stop because you're like, now you look, you feel like you look funny. All right, lashes. We're going to go in with Quadra first. So Quadra is the first four in one mascara. It has um, primer infused in it. So now we're going to prime our lashes. So one nice little coat first at the base of the lash all the way up. Make sure that you feel like it touches your uh, lash line. Because this is going to be important because not only are we priming our lashes, but we're also applying our lash growth serum. So this has one of the most fast, fastest acting lash growth uh, serums infused into the mascara. It's very similar to the one that you've seen online called Grande Lash, but ours works faster and better. And this also is a tubing mascara. So what this is doing is it's coating each individual lash with a tube around it. So your lashes will look longer than they've ever looked using anything else. So we're gonna apply this from the base lash all the way up. And then what you're gonna do as well is you're gonna go from the long side so these wands have two sides. So you have a black sil or a black bristle side, and then you have a pink silicone side. So the shorter pink silicone side goes second. So it goes long, short, long. Does that make sense? So once you've done your short side, then go back in with the long side. Just like so. And then what I like to do is I like to personally go in with our twisted mascara next. Twisted Mascara has a micro wand, so it allows you to get really close to the lash line and helps with volume. And it also has argan, oil, keratin, and biotin infused in it. So it's also nourishing your lashes while you're using it. So the combination of the two, you are going to have the most beautiful, long, luscious lashes ever. Say that three times fast. Uh, but we're helping our lashes grow while we're wearing these products. And then if you're new at doing mascara, the Twisted Mascara is by far the easiest to learn with because of the shape of it. So what's really awesome is if you have a hard time with mascara or you're still learning, it has this teeny tiny little wand. So you can get those harder to reach eyelashes like the bottom lash line or fine tune your lashes. Or if you have really short lashes, you could start with this wand and then do like quadra on top or more twisted. Sky's the limit. But definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you take your before and after pictures with Quadra so you can track your lash growth because it's been insane watching everybody's lash growth experience. All right, we're gonna do the bottom lash line with this. Okay, and then one last coat of Quadra and we're done. Which I'm doing the long side right now of Quadra. My gosh, my lashes literally touched my eyebrows. <laughs> so good. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know if you need any help picking out your products. Um, always feel free to message me here on Facebook if you need any links specifically sent to you, if you have any questions, you 
didn't get answered during today's live. I always go back through and check my comments on my Facebook lives, but sometimes Facebook doesn't allow me to like message you or sometimes Facebook doesn't show me all my comments. It's so annoying. So make sure to send me a message here on Facebook by tapping my face. A description window comes down. You'll be able to send me a message that way. And if you could do me a huge favor and head over to my Instagram um, and click on my profile picture for the stories to play, that would be a huge help because Instagram's being mean to me. I don't know why. Um, but make sure to share this on your wall would be a huge help too. Um, name of the mascara is Quadra. And then I also use Twisted, both of which are on sale. If you get both, they're 15% off. If you get the liquid eyeshadow with these, it's 20% off. So everything is 15 to 20% off that goes on your eyes. Yeah, so if you love Grande, you need to use this. Like it will maximize your results like tenfold. You are so welcome. Yeah, always feel free. Why is the one side of Quadra pink? Because it's cute. <laughs> I don't know. They didn't tell us why they made it pink, but I think it's cute. All right. So let me know if I could be any help to you guys. Make sure to follow me, follow me here on Facebook and also on Instagram. Feel free to subscribe to my tech subscription um, so you don't miss out on any future details. So I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.